greenhorns. Yeah. Well, I feel also that being, what, three days away, four days from Graven and the rest of the guild, mm -hmm. do we try and alert them to this now? I can I can use I, I, I can use idea. that I can use that one la one awesome. third level one remaining third level spell slot. Though that's kind of a big thing considering I we don't have enough time for me to take a long rest to get those back. Right. So I mean it's 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 up to I mean this is this is this is it wouldn't Why? hurt to like, alert the guild no. to... But we don't... Ha this is the other thing. We, we don't, don't really have any yeah. definitive proof. Definitive proof. We just know that it's been closed for four months, and, and I mean, LaShawn has been lying to Grobnar or whatever his name is. Graven. 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 We can... Grobnar. Grobnar. <laughs> what the fuck? You, you, gotta, you need to read. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, you need to read other just, books the besides the one that you got right now. <laughs> Is that one of those <laughs> fucking that gravy up dwarves from me? <laughs> Never mind. Um, so I mean, we can roll the dice. We could roll the dice. You know, blow the whistle. Have them come here. Mm -hmm. If it turns out that you know the, this was you know something going on, great. We you know helped. If it wasn't, and from the sounds of it, Graven is way more familiar with Lashan than us. Mm -hmm. uh, we could be throwing ourselves right into the fire. Um, it's a catch-22. justice right now than anything. As you but, do. It. You know. <laughs> uh, we need proof. I say we still need proof. All right. and, and if we so have definitive proof, we can give that to the guild. kind of why I wanted to try to sneak into the keep to see if I could find Lashan. I knew you wanted to go in the keep. Yeah. I knew you were. That's like to. the main objective. Do you? Yeah, I understand that. But do you remember what happened last time we tried to information gather? Uh, I didn't have a magic cloak and boots back then. I know, but and I wasn't a rogue yet either. I'm uh, my guy's a lot more proficient at being stealthy now than he was two levels ago. Okay. And he has my well, bird's help too. That's true. Well, and if it's just him and the bird, that's I got some, well. I got a pretty if good if anything, too. we could we could have it you. Lag behind. Um, yeah. You you not not with uh, the three of us when we bring that uh, flint to town. You could stay in the shadows, provide overwatch. We'll sneak in, keep an eye on us. Be the liaison between the rest of them mm. and us. Use Groen to relay information back to me. Very much so. Yeah, and Crowen, I can telepathically talk to Groen to you. Should we die, Groen? So he doesn't look like a magic white. Crow. I can I can do that just or, by yeah. sh my my will. I can just do that. I can turn <laughs> Crowen into a cat right now. How does Crowen feel about that? Yeah, <laughs> I'd rather have Crowen be unique right now, so I can spot him because I have my old eyes and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. understandable. <laughs> well, let's say we just look down at. Look, the we all, yeah, after after kind of like looking we look at, at each, each other, other and then we just look down. Like look down at Hangman. I agree, dude. <laughs> all right. Well, I guess we take our preparations if we need. I'll hold off on contacting Graven until we have proof. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I just feel that we need to. You know, make sure that when it comes down to it, we can properly prove mm -hmm. that LaShawn was up to no good. Right. That is very important. That was a major key to this entire thing. <clears throat> yeah. Mm -hmm. And if he is up to no good, maybe they'll send him to a Bel Air. His auntie and uncle. I don't know where that is. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a neighboring town of Krakenheim. Oh, okay. <laughs> Go there sometime. It's rather nice. I believe you. Then I uh, I politely excuse myself to go pee in a bush. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, being cramped enough for one day, I. Uh, what are you talking about, Sean? Huh? Neighboring uh, town? Huh? I didn't hear you. 
no, neighboring she, town? Like, what did what are you talking no, about? No, oh, Sean was. Sean, I was just joking. I, he was saying Bel Air, and I was doing a Bel Air joke, and ah, Hesker's lot, just all, "Where's Bel Air? Neighboring town I of Crackingheim." I don't know where that is. <laughs> um, it's, in your it's usually where people go when they get in one little fight, and their mom gets scared. <laughs> I walk out of the room. I don't know why. <laughs> I, I just feel like I need some fresh air. <laughs> and I just look at him, tell me more about Bel Air. <laughs> well, they got uh, cabs in there, and Wait, if you look I at the license care. plates, you'll be able to tell that they're rare. <laughs> license plates? I have short circuiting. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> um, yeah, I just I go out and spend the rest of the day just sitting by the fire, I guess. I don't know. If I, there's if there's like a central fire out out and about, yeah. I'll just sit there and have my <laughs> evening have my evening meal by the fire. I and, just uh, want to pray to tear to make sure that we're doing the right thing for justice's sake. Okay, go ahead and make a religion check. Oh, okay. I'm just fiddling on my loot. I'm just still play clacking around. I got a five. Do they? Ooh. And some real backwater banjo picking on it. And I don't think I'm going to use a luck point for that. Do they do they have any sort of like metalworking at all here? Metallurgy. I imagine they probably didn't have anything too crazy. There's uh, somebody working with an anvil and a hammer with, you know, the forge forging kind of fire that they need, but it's a very simple setup. I Need, needing needing some something to kind of distract me before it, I approach the guy and ask him if I can ply my craft. And I just, I don't know. Take well, out, take out. Oh god. He's currently busy working right now. Oh, he is. Well, just muscle your way in. Just be like I'm, I'm amusing this now. No, sorry. Uh, Shoot. Well, if you, if I just you want kinda... to wait until he's done working on the specific like piece that he has in his hand, you can do that, and then. Yeah, basically, I'm just wait, uh, wait, wait until he gets done with the bench. I'm gonna throw a few reps. All right. Well, he, you sit down and uh, next to him, and uh, you know. He notices your presence, approach him, and you uh, ask him if you can use the setup. He just tells you that when once he's done, you can use it. And it, you know, about ten minutes later, once he's hammered it and done everything that he needs to do, he picks up all of his tools and uh, moves off. Okay. Um, Who wants to toke up? I mean, uh, do you have a pipe on you? I have a pipe on me. Do oh. Wilson, do I see any of the weapons need like some care? Like it I mean it sounded it sounded like he was doing working on something, but judging from, from their weaponry, is there uh any that I could work on? Just to kind of get them battle ready. Absolutely. There's there's plenty. They're not in bad shape, but they definitely could use some care. It would never hurt. I want to just, uh, you know, buff the rust off, sharpen the edges. Well, yeah, I want to. I want to, you know, uh, ask Gon to guide me and uh, help me prepare for the road ahead, and just <laughs> ply as much of my craft as I can, helping them, you know, yeah. uh, you repair weapons, get, get armor ready. To. <laughs> okay, you make a religion <laughs> check too. <laughs> You don't want to get a stat attribute? Wait, it gives you a stat attribute? Yeah, it gives you one. But you get uh, after it, it dissipates it. Uh, it weakens your other attribute. 17. Oh, no, I don't want that. Okay. So, in two parts of the camp, two different figures are having a moment to themselves to reflect upon the more religious side of their lives. Wayne Red, you you pray on your prayers are centered around the fact that you are not certain about the 
outcome of everything of, of how things are going to go down and you want it to you know be okay and make sure that everybody gets what they deserve but also that other people are not hurt in the process yeah, more than is necessary that, that it's all fair and whatnot and uh you don't really feel anything coming back from tear he, he's just watching in this case has no input I got a tear in my eye because tear is not being tear. You guys watching him? No, and I'm not watching him. Heskar, <laughs> you, you know, have just the feelings of seeing pieces of metal that, if it needs work and you don't have anything to do immediately, you'll do it. So you just walk, you, you know, collect everything you need to collect and you sharpen. You oil, you fix bowstrings, you, uh, you know, a lot of the stuff here is repaired, but not maintained in any way past that. They've fixed what's broken and then just used it until they needed to fix it again. And you feel a certain warmth as during, during your work, you you know, begin your prayers as usual, and uh, throughout the work, you just feel this sort of warmth to you that usually would come from the exertion of doing this work, but it's more of a kind of like being drunk on wine kind of warmth, and uh, you feel that Gond recognizes your intent. Yeah. If, <laughs> if, if anything... Congrats. Congrats on God. We will not go... We will not go in unprepared. I would like to, um... Mash up some of my, um... Harada leaf. Into a potent mixture. That I can, um... Give to one of my allies as, like, a coating for their weapon to do poison damage. Ooh. That won't be my weapon. I don't, I don't deal with poisons. I don't play with that. You know, lube up the end of the fucking quad is Dave. You can do that too. <laughs> right into the little cold. That gift with the fucking potion with the fucking uh, aggressive okay. application of drugs. Go ahead and make another uh, D twenty plus your intelligence, plus proficiency. And uh, I need to quench. <laughs> Relief. Yeah. So plus three plus three. Um, Brangle of Brangus? Yes. Because that's my intelligence modifier and then my proficiency. Yeah, proficiency. so plus six. Oh, just plus six. I'll do uh, that then. Plus three, plus three works too. Yeah. Yeah. 21. Ooh. All right. You have this inspiration from what you had collected this morning through your crow. Your little crowin. He, uh, <clears throat> Excuse me. He brought you enough where you are able to make two small files. Uh, they are about four inches long and hold enough doses for, I'm going to say, two applications. By refining the essence of these plants, which you know to be addictive, this, this is commonly sold as a street drug by the Thieves Guild. Like, they, they, they do something different than what you're doing, but you are familiar with that process. So you're able to extract it in this certain way where when coded onto a weapon, the enemy will certainly go under the effects of this extraction that you've done. So I got so you have vials and two coatings, essentially, of... Yeah, you you made enough to get two uses. Okay, I'll just do that then. So it can be applied to two weapons or two different arrows or whatever you'd like to do. Cool. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Anything else, guys? Um, nope. Not for me. Not for me. Nope. Just Hingman. Yeah. You're just playing your loot, you think? Yeah, I'm just chill. Satisfied with as much work as I can get done, I just rejoin the fellows and sit down and have a one of my delicious rations that tastes probably like garbage. I'm gonna check to see if they got food there. <laughs> yeah, there there are like 
there is a cooking tent so when it gets to be time that people normally eat a meal in the evening there is food that is served it's simple just cooked meat with vegetables um a very simple bread has been made like super duper simple everything that you need just to make bread Three, eight, wine and food if I prepare there is that, ale I could, and I wine could, available I could, I like it's weird but like, it's they don't charge you anything for it <laughs> I just take a, a you know, a, of water. a modicum of, of uh, a serving. I don't take a, a whole lot. I see that they're kind of in dire straits here. Um, there's there's plenty to go around because there's stuff that they they can just grow and, you know, hunt them for themselves. There's plenty to go around, but like... Well, it, it's in my nature, I guess, that I, I, I'm withholding on how much I eat because I don't want to seem like a, an oaf. <laughs> okay. Hey. And could I... I'm, I'm assuming, like, through all that work... Uh, built up quite a bit of soot on myself, and uh, could I have taken a, a piece of uh, charcoal from the uh, earth? Yeah, absolutely. I, um, I take it. I take out the piece of charcoal. I break off a tiny piece. I spread it over my meat, and I eat it naturally. I'd like to go uh -huh. to the food tent with Knox and get a meal, a free meal. And the food is pretty good. They, Whoever they have cooking it knows what they're doing. The bread, like I said, is simple, but other than that, like, good seasoning on the meat. It's vegetables are either steamed nicely or however you'd like them prepared. I kind of, I kind of, like, extend the charcoal out to the rest of the guys. I'm like... I just, like, point over my shoulder behind me towards the food tent. Oh, no, I, I'm, I, I, came, I came, I came, I decided, oh, okay. you know, I, I heard <laughs> mysteriously that there was a food tent. So instead of eating my, you couldn't my smell rations, it. I couldn't it's, say yeah, no. It's not, it's not like hidden or anything. <laughs> it's, right. It smells great. I know, but I'm just saying, you know, I, I sprink, uh, I don't make it, I don't make a, uh, uh, I don't, I don't try to hide the fact that I'm sprinkling charcoal on, on my food. <laughs> and I kind of offer it, I'm like, I... You know, take a chunk of charcoal from Heskar and I crush it up and draw a symbol of Torm on my forehead like, like it's that, Ash Wednesday. No, that... Uh, <laughs> so, I, I wipe, the I wipe uh, two wavers. scales bouncing Forehead. on a Warhammer no. is now drawn on not on Wainwright's face. It's like, wow, you did that without looking? That's amazing. Practice. Okay. <laughs> when, I was, when I was in Paladin school, they taught us how to do this. Just... Did you you spent all the all kinds of days? Well, just, actually, I just like clap my hands together and then. Oh. Okay. I'm just kidding. I drew a little hand on there. <laughs> <laughs> just imagine you, tiny little salad on your head, <laughs> drawing, day in day out. I use little the, scales uh, on your head. Reflection from the salad as a mirror to get it right. Hey, why don't you put some like eyeshadow on to get? Yeah, I, I kind of I gotta. I, I crush the rest of the charcoal up, give myself a nice little kind of like charcoal war paint mm -hmm. uh, across across the chest, not not my face. Just okay. So as you guys all finish your preparations and are now getting ready to go, uh, you're brought this man who has volunteered to be your flint, and you can see that it's the uh, dude who was the berserker from before. I give him I give him a slap on the shoulder, and just a knowing look of approval. Don't say anything to him. And then, you know, you guys start your journey back to Arbor's Dale, and that's where we're gonna leave it for tonight.